this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. I have got a lot of clothes. <laughs> welcome back to my channel today is my long overdue wardrobe clear out closet purge i don't know about you but when there's so much clutter and mess like i can't think straight it gives me so much anxiety listen i am a self-diagnosed shopaholic impulse buyer but it got to the point that i had so many clothes in my wardrobe that it was just driving me so crazy and everything was everywhere i was hoarding everything just in case i lost weight and i was skinny and got back to my old body again and also just in case because you never know right but after procrastinating about it for months okay i finally took out a few days to go through my wardrobe declutter organize and just create the capsule wardrobe that i love so if you want to find out how i did that then keep on watching if you're new here then hello my name is lorraine and my channel is lorraine lux and i focus on everything curvy fashion affordable luxury lifestyle and also a dash of motherhood if you love all that i hope that you do then subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell and join the family so before i actually go into the vlog style of me decluttering and do my closet purge i wanted to give you a couple of tips on how you can do your own wardrobe clear out the first thing that i would need to say is to make sure that you've set out at least two days again depending on how small or big your wardrobe is if you have a lot of clothes like me okay it's probably going to take you more than a day it doesn't have to be consecutive days it can be one day in this week one day in that week and just taking your time okay next tip that i'm going to say is when you're actually doing your closet purge make sure that you have three piles one is going to be your definitely keep the next pile is going to be your maybe and you're not too sure and then your last pile is going to be definitely giving away or selling okay and what you're going to do with your maybe pile to decide whether you're going to definitely keep or get rid of it is figure out how you'd wear it where you'd wear it how would you style it and if it fits within your personal style before making that plunge and deciding whether you're going to keep or sell the last tip that i'll give you is to make it fun although it can be aesthetically pleasing when you have finished the wardrobe clear out and your closet purge this is the most boring thing to do okay so that's why it's important to make it fun whether you want to include your friends or your family to help you out have some music in the background dancing okay enjoying yourself so the process is not as tedious and you don't keep stopping and starting i got rid of a lot of clothes you guys so be sure to check out my vintage account down below in the description box so you can shop my closet if there's anything that you like anyway let's actually get into the declutter and closet purge so it's day one of the closet purge there's so much to do but we move um i'm gonna start with
Already. I'll do a close-up so you guys can see like there's much more space in between the hangers I even feel better looking at it I didn't remove a lot but the little that I removed oh amazing let me show you guys as you can see there's much more gaps and space um, on the hangers it just looks much more I don't know fresh and clean um, I have put the patterns on the inside, um, worked my way with um, colour um, and then nude, the darker colours and then back down to the lighter colours. I know I said that I was only going to do the top bit today but I'm feeling so rejuvenated by seeing how amazing that looks that I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom part. Um, this shouldn't take too long, hopefully you can put this side, girl. We've got a lot of work on this side, but this is more like outerwear, um, blazers and stuff like that. So this should be relatively easy. Like for example, this one is definitely a yes, because hello, white blazer, okay. Um, so I'm gonna put the yes pile here the no pile over there and then the maybe pile here. I'll put you somewhere where no one can find you. Mansion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. And I'm not alive. You hand me down on my knees every time I had to talk inside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists. It's a fire. I try to pee all your lawn. So I'll pick up you a job. I had to stand too close to the skinny. You ain't too vulnerable living this life. I still walk your way through this before I copy all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not hanging like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made the second change. Put you somewhere where no one can find you. Passion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires, I know, I know. You got desires, I know, I know. You got desires. Hey. Self control is never been a thing. Don't think it'll help. There's a ring. Where I'm from, they start to sow the things. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks. How the fuck you keep so many seeds? How you going, vegan, but still be filled with me?
so refreshing and oh that was so liberating guys honestly it was so quick to do i didn't realize how quick it was going to be but my room is looking a hot mess right now i need to sort that out but anyway i'll show you quickly what it looks like so that's much better isn't it there's so much room so much space um for my lovely blazers um so i put the blazers at the end the darks um right at the end i uh, put a bit of lighter colors with the creams and then the colorful blazers at the end there and then i've got some denim in the middle there and then i've got some cardigans and hoodies right at the end um there which is nice and cute so I'm going to sort out my maybe pile now to decide if I'm definitely going to keep or not keep. And then I'm going to clear out this space so that I've got more room because I literally can't even move. Um, and then tomorrow or another day, I will then tackle this long section over here. Do make sure you check out my description box if you want to purchase my no pile or, or any of the things that i'm going to be getting rid of most of them are seriously like brand new hardly worn or worn just once i will see you tomorrow or another day for round two okay day two of the wardrobe clear out to be honest this is a couple of weeks later we have been living in a mess okay um so i'm gonna sort out this side <laughs> finished this section now couldn't really what well, was a bit more difficult to color coordinate but i've gone for the darks on this side um the camels on that side and the more colorful bits on that side this is like the longer section of the um the wardrobe so like all the dresses um the jumpsuits and everything. <laughs> guys how it feels to have a clear of a closet to have more space in my closet to be able to move the hangers in my closet you guys it feels so amazing and to know that the pieces that i have in my wardrobe is pieces that i love if you guys have been contemplating procrastinating like i was to do your wardrobe clear out do it now you will feel so much better for it okay like this video if you have enjoyed this video let me know 
there in the comment section down below if you've ever done a wardrobe clear out if you're planning on doing a wardrobe clear out if you come all this way thank you so much but before you click off from this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel press that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads be sure to check out this video which i know you also enjoy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye lovelies